in this step, we're going to talk about the tools required in order to wire and mount lighting on a small utility trailer. What I have here first is a magnetic tray to hold all my fasteners. Next I have my oops. Next I have my terminal pliers for squeezing our connectors together. They are color coordinated and will correspond with the terminals that you're using. From there I have a set of heavy duty nylon zip ties we'll use to mount our wiring to the frame of the trailer with. I have here in my hands heavy duty waterproof type butt connectors. Now your trailer wiring package will come with a hardware kit. Inside that hardware kit is something they call a scotch lock. That's a scotch lock right there. These things are great for the interior of a vehicle. However, being that they don't have any waterproof abilities on a utility trailer or any other device you're going to be towing. The trailer, of course, has wheels on it, which will flick water and road debris onto this connection and eventually degrade it. These guys here are the most common failure for a trailer. So we're going to use our waterproof connectors instead. These are fine. They work as long as they're in a very dry environment. We have the rest of our hardware kit in there. I have a hand lighter for shrinking the heat shrink tubing on my waterproof connectors. I've always used a lighter. Uh, the directions are going to tell you to use a small heat gun or a mini torch. I use a lighter so I'm ensured not to use too much heat on my connectors. From there I have my Black & Decker kit with a drill. Uh, we're going to need to poke some holes in the frame of the trailer to mount our lights along with a couple other screwdrivers. And of course your trailer lighting package which is going to include a new license plate mount and a wiring harness kit along with all of the other necessary lights. <coughs> These are the tools required and supplies necessary in order to properly wire your trailer and mount your new lighting.